What's up folks, Pixel here. So, I like me some building. I like building a lot in Seven Days to Die. I, there's just something about the freedom to build your own home and, you know, not be limited to the space, uh, pre like predefined space uh, when you get into a POI. But I also understand that many of you don't have the patience to like build stuff or maybe not even understand. And some of you just want to get out there do as much looting and zombie killing as much as possible without faffing around getting resources and things like that. And I, I totally get it, I totally get it. The, the, the game is designed to be played the way you want to play it. So, for you guys that don't want to build, here is a list of 10 POIs that I found in Alpha 20 that you can live in from day one. So you can just basically live there and don't have to worry about building. So the first place that I've selected is Zoe's Salon, okay? So Zoe's Salon might not look much, but it's, she's actually a pretty sturdy building. So as you see, it's quite a square and it, on the outside, around the back here and onto the sides, there is uh, some partial walls. So you don't have to worry about zombies coming in from the back door or anything like that. They will come in from the front, of course. And then if we just look at the walls themselves here, so if I just hit this, so this is cobblestone or flagstone even. So that's uh, 1200 defense. And then if you look at the pillars, they're 5,000. So these are all concrete. So she will hold up pretty well against like a zombie horde or anything like that, a running horde. And also to get to the rooftop, uh, you could just simply put like a ladder system up here or some frames or even on the back here, you could just put some ladders on here and just jump up to the roof. And um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty spacious up here. Um, you can basically put like farm plots down here. You could you know, put all your storage down there. And yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, regards to zombies getting up here, there is only one hatch that they can potentially get up to here. And this is all covered uh, by this area. And all you have to do is just take out this block right here. So you can just get rid of this, get rid of these, get rid of that. And there's no way that the zombies can get up here at all, right? Um, and then inside, I mean, inside, you're not going to really look at much. It's kind of compact. It's not very spacious at all. Even had these pillars to help you support the building um, going to the going to the roof. So this will hold up very, very well. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. It's not, it's not, you know, great to look at or anything like that, but... She is pretty hardy, she's pretty sturdy, and it's a pretty decent POI to kind of live off for the first couple of weeks. Next on the list is Prowling Pete's. Prowling Pete's is a fast food place. So inside, you can probably see like there's some, uh, there's some like um, soda fountains here. So maybe you can get some Mega Crush and then there's potentially maybe inside of these cabinets, you could probably find like a cooking pot or something like that. The door here is open. Uh, it's quite easily to get in for the zombies and stuff. Um, and then on the inside as well, there's a couple of rooms here, uh, around here, and there's a ladder. So you will have to take this ladder off as well. However, this ladder doesn't actually lead direct to the roof. So if I just go up here past the the suspended ceiling so you can see here um the, the ladder goes up to the suspending ceiling if you follow this all the way around it actually goes to the ceiling right here the rooftop right here so um you can actually get to the roof pretty easily on this side if you just want to put like another ladder here you can jump up here but if you want to get to the roof but rooftop it's uh, pretty spacious uh, as well. You can build an extension out of here. You can get rid of all this as well for some, a little bit of extra iron. Um, and to get to the roof, again, you can go in the middle. Uh, you can go inside or you can just build another ladder up here like that. Or even on the side here. She's um, pretty, well, he's pretty like uh, defensible as well. There's a wall around the outside. It's got a cobblestone. A flagstone wall and then the walls themselves for the structure so we've got uh, concrete right here and this is concrete as well so this will also take a massive beating from any zombies like trying to break through you will have to kind of reinforce these um, windows as well they're only 500 so you might have to get some cobblestone and then block that up a little bit better but generally, Prowling Pete's is pretty decent as well. Very hardy building, completely made out of concrete. Won't fall down in the first instance. Again, uh, it'll, it'll be 
decent for you to live here for like a few weeks. The only thing that you are, uh, will have to kind of consider as well is um, it has this nasty overhang. It's three blocks out, which means that if there's any zombies that are kind of smashing you from beneath, you can't really shoot them. You will have to build like some sort of um, railing uh, walkway so you can shoot through them. So just basically wooden bars to go around the outside and just so you can shoot them from that angle. But other than that, pretty decent POI. Again, very hardy um and totally recommend so when i was searching for this place i was searching for the laundromat right the old school laundromat but i couldn't find it i couldn't find it in the game files i couldn't find it at all i think it's actually been removed which really surprised me and this is the only building that i could find for the laundry mat and when i looked at it i thought no that's not the place i really wanted to go however on closer inspection it's actually not a decent POI so it doesn't really have too much of a defense it has a wall around the back here and it has like the barrier on the side which I've still yet to test but in nine, uh, Alpha 19 zombies could not jump over these barriers whatsoever I don't know why that was they just couldn't jump over it so um, yeah, so it's got like a semi-decent wall uh, and then the structure itself is made out of flagstone So this is 1200 and it also comes with a free vending machine as well So if you're in a pinch and you need some food this will restock and then you can come down and get some food or maybe over time You can just basically like rock busters and all that kind of stuff and then to get to the roof very easy there is a ladder right here. You will have to take this bottom one out or else the zombies can climb up to you. But as soon as you take this one out, it's only 500 durability. It shouldn't take you no time at all. Uh, once you've done that, zombies won't be able to get to the roof. And then speaking of the roof, there is so much space up here. Like so much space. So you can have your storage maybe along here. Maybe put your farm plots down here. Put your bedrolls and crafting stations up here. Pretty, pretty simple. And then down below, you can actually shoot the zombies directly through this hole if you really wanted to. It's pretty decent. And then uh, just for extra durability here, these are 10,000. These are completely made out of steel. So there's no way the zombies are going to break through here straight away. However, below, this is only 100. <laughs> So you will need to put some more flagstone blocks for that for, to kind of deter the zombies from getting through here. But again, that's not too much of an effort. Once you start getting concrete and stuff like that, you can just block that off. So there's no way the zombies will break through there. But again, pretty, pretty decent POI. Uh, the lip itself is not too bad. The only thing that you need to think about is this one right here. But again, this is just made out of wood, right? So you can just get rid of this. You can basically just clear all this off and you have access to that front entryway straight away so not bad POI for a new one this is a brand new POI for Alpha 20 and it's pretty decent as a starter base if you're ever caught out in the wilderness and you need some place to stay and you happen to come across one of these this is probably one of my personal favorites in regards to a startup base the reason being is because it's already walled off as you can see and the walls are 2500 so this is uh, metal right uh, so slightly stronger than cobblestone but not as strong as concrete and it only has one entrance which is this way to the fridge so you can just put a door in here and the zombies won't be able to get through right uh, it's not bad at all it's kind of high these the walls are like three high you can walk around it very easily to kind of shoot the zombies you may need to put a couple of blocks here just to deter them from like jumping up above but it's not bad and then if you wanted to kind of redesign it all these kind of struts are very weak so that's a thousand this is what 300 and you it's suspended by a fridge so you can take this off very easily take that off and this whole thing will collapse down or alternatively you can just live inside if i just break this there is a zombie in here it's not bad inside it's kind of cramped but you know put some storage blocks up up here you can put like a couple of workbenches uh your cement mixes in the windows or something like that it's workable you know it's not the most spacious but it's all right for a starter base and then as time goes on you can just start reinforcing everything um replacing all the walkways if you really wanted to also comes with a nice watchtower so you know you see like a zombie horde or even a wolf 
Just go ahead and shoot it in the distance before it gets to you. Especially in the snow biome, bloody hell. <laughs> like, mountain lions are no joke. You don't want to mess with those. Um, the only thing that um, you will need to worry about is that these are not repairable at all. So if I just try and right click it with my hammer, I can't do it. So once these go, it's gone. So you need to basically replay it. Re the whole wall completely but I mean you need to repair like this one which is what two blocks high I think yeah two blocks high so you need to fill that in but again generally not bad especially if you're caught in a pinch in the middle of nowhere this survivor site is pretty pretty decent you know it's it's all right to live in it's my per one of my personal favorites in the wilderness but again it is out in the wilderness you're probably not going to see this close to a town or anything like that but if you really need somewhere to stay this is pretty good this little cabin uh surprisingly is very good for living in because as you can see it already has a wall around the outside and um, the walls are kind of thin they're only like a thousand durability but there is only one entrance in so you can just wall this off put a doorway in stops any zombies from getting in and then inside there is a uh, workbench um i believe i read somewhere that there's no working workbenches in the world i've yet to confirm that yet in kind of any playthrough but yeah, if, uh, if that's not true, then this workbench can sometimes be like a working workbench. So keep your eye out for that. Again, I'm not confirming that for Alpha 20. You might need to double check that. Um, the building itself is built on concrete. So this is on 5,000. Um, the wall, though, you will need to reinforce. This is up to 500. So you just need to put some cobblestone in there. Inside, it's uh, not a bad living space. It needs a fixer-upper. It's a little bit old like tattered paint job you know nothing a bit of liquor paint will do uh, and then top of here you can basically put your like your storage or um, your bedroll in here like that it has a ladder already inside uh toilet for maybe a toilet pistol you never know and then on the outside uh there is the shed you can convert this into a garage maybe just take everything out uh, and then on this side as well there is a um farm plot you just need to get rid of everything here uh, and you basically grow your own crops very easy it's got a dedicated spot already however the best thing is if you go through the well down here you'll see that oh it has a water source i mean water is not hard to get by anyway now for 20 but this is pretty good, so you don't have to like go out wandering in the middle of the night. You can just go into the middle of your base and get some water and um, yeah, just use it for cooking or whatever. Uh, it does also have a gun uh, bag as well, so maybe uh, later on. You don't want to loot this straight away. You want to save this until your loot stage is higher. That way you get a better chance of a gun. So maybe come back at maybe like game stage. 40 or so, uh, loot stage 40 30 something like that just so you can get a decent chance of getting a better better gun otherwise you're just going to end up with something like i don't know leather wraps or something like that which is not good at all but yeah not bad not a bad poy uh we did play this through primate games is a pvp um christmas event this was pretty good but um yeah it's it's not bad it's got a defensible wall you can just upgrade that wall and then put a, a door in there so not a bad poy either this is the New Life Hope Cabin. The Survivor Settlement uh, has got to be one of my favorites. Um, it's just because it just looks cool. I mean, forget that it's in the wasteland, right? The wasteland is not cool, right? But um, this is the only one that I could find on the map. But yeah, this one has a nice wall around the outside. Admittedly, since Alpha 20, these panels have been nerfed quite a lot. They're only like 10, right? But they, so they need a bit of renovation but there is like cobblestone on the uh, outside here so that's 1500 uh, and then inside uh, this door doesn't work but again this is just a defensible wall 7500 you just leave that there uh, and you will have to replace all these panels as well but there are some bits that are reinforced like back here uh, there's the flagstone here and i think back here as well yeah there's some struts here and some things like that and some spikes so you can just line this place with some spikes and you'll be perfectly fine right inside 
Uh, you have obviously the two watchtowers that you could just pew pew from, which is quite nice. And then inside here, you have a storage area for basically anything. So um, I lived here with uh, Pixel Wife in one of our earlier playthroughs and we basically turned this room into a manufacturing room uh we basically just put like all the storage around the back and put like all our workbenches along here and then on the other side there's a little uh pharmacy so you can potentially get some medicine uh for you to loot uh this is like basically a dedicated bedroom you can just turn this into whatever you want uh, ignore the zombie so you know if you want to do a little bit of role play put like a double bed in here bedside cabinet wardrobe whatever and the same with up here as well there is a chem station as well uh, again i don't know in alpha 20 whether they nerfed all the chem stations but if you do come and loot them there is still the potential to get the schematic so let's say we loot this and there's you might get like a schematic for the chem station as well so you never know it is by chance it is a low chance and uh, there is a water tower here that you can just Go up, have a look around, you know, see if there's any, like, bad zombies coming in. Uh, another house, uh, what building should I say, not a house, around the back here. And then underneath here, there is a load of weapons racks. Look at all these weapon racks. And then through here, open this, there is one gun safe as well. I will emphasize, there is mines back here, and there's not just one, there's three of them. I think yeah three right there so if you do come in you will need to pop them first before you get to that gun save I mean you could reach the gun save without popping the mines as well but if you don't have any like lock picks you're just gonna be bashing away to try and unlock it but yeah it's uh, it's not bad I mean potential good loot as well uh, again I wouldn't open the equipment racks or the gun safes and all that kind of stuff until you're a little bit later on uh, in loot stage so you can get potentially better weapons as well but this is pretty decent it is a fixer upper the front gate is probably the most sturdiest of the wall uh but again it's not too difficult get some cobblestone get some uh plates and you can actually make sheets as well now and just start lining this up uh double double walling it pretty good again you can just put spikes everywhere as well spikes are pretty cheap very very easily defensible but yeah this is just a living space but maybe a bit too big for one person i don't know i lived here by myself as well in one of my offline playthroughs i basically reinforced everything and changed everything to like concrete wall around the outside and then also actually i did forget that there is um an area for you to like grow plots on at the back as well so it's not bad to like kind of just dig all of this out put your farm plots down and then just start growing your crops so yeah this is uh, the survivor settlement in the game. Again, there's not that many of these about, but if you do find one, not a bad place to live in. The next one I have is the old fire station. So they have three fire stations now in uh, Alpha 20. This is the original, well, basically the oldest one, right? And it looks kind of like a plainish building. Um, it has a little wall in the back. It's nothing to be notab uh, notable for. It's just basically covering the side here. You can, if you really want to, just close it off. Just build some frames here, put an old wall here, put another wall here. Uh, it does come with a um, vending machine. So this is not working right now, but you can get working ones. We have seen it before. The foundation is made out of concrete as well as flagstone uh, on the... Uh, the walls above there are two entrances so there's one at the front here that you need to consider and there's one at the back here as well which is locked but they do break it through pretty easily and then here we have the garage area eventually over time you can probably knock these out turn this into an actual working garage you will need to do some work here to take some blocks out replace all these and make this completely flat but not a bad place for a garage. And then if we go inside, there is only one access to the uh, second floor, which is this stairway, which are a thousand each. So all you have to do is just take these stairways out and then you are completely safe to the story above. The story above is, is also made out of concrete. So pretty, pretty sturdy. I will say it is a little bit cramped, but what you can do is you can just basically get some uh, blocks here. So if I just get some blocks, take all these out, take this metal pipe out like this, and then fill this up. 
like so all the way across if you really want it as well take out these bars right here and then you basically have full access to this whole working area and then if you really want it as well you can break this door you have a sleeping area uh right here which is all right not too bad but yeah anyway you can get access to the roof and you can basically have a roof garden if you really wanted to so uh all this area right here you can basically line some farm plots up you can probably throw it down here as well uh you can probably build your own access to the roof i mean you could just put some stairs right here to get yourself to the to the roof but yeah not too bad has a nice lip as well so all this is nice and flat so if there's any zombies that come round, you can just shoot down very easily uh and then even here as well if you have zombies right here you can just basically like just shoot them from this point as well so yeah not bad really it's uh again it's sizable it's a little bit compact inside but it has you know you can just knock out walls anything really to make it a little bit uh more suitable for you but pretty decent poi to live in block out the back wall uh and then just basically block out the front wall if you really want to another excellent poi to live in is the cemetery as morbid as that sounds the cemetery is a really decent poi to live in as you can already see it has wall all the way around the outside and there's only one entrance which is this gate right here you will need to put something here to stop the zombies from coming in you'll have to take get rid of that block and then basically put something here like a door or something like that this um gate here is 7000 durability so it's not going to fall anytime soon the walls themselves are made from cobblestone uh all the way around and then the church itself uh you have co uh, concrete on the bottom and then also flagstone as well to gain access to the church you can just break this block right here this will help you get inside uh, as you can see not many zombies in and then what you can do is they've got these rafters so you can just put blocks around here you, they don't have to be steel obviously you can just be like wood frames just get rid of all this and you can do that all the way across maybe put a ladder in there so you can get to the get to the second floor but yeah and then you can start living up here again this is pretty sturdy they're not going to break in at any time and if you really want it you can actually instead of putting uh four uh frames down you can maybe put like bars down instead like that so you can put bars down instead right and that way if any zombies come through to the lower portion you can just basically shoot them through the bars and they can't get to you at all unless it's a copper but then yeah you have you have to be a really late stage for that but by then you should be able to deal with copper's no problem but yeah this is a this is pretty good pretty sizable and if you really want to you can get to access to the roof as well uh you'll have to dig some holes and put a ladder somewhere but yeah this will be pretty decent to live off not bad not bad poi very defensible very sturdy and uh very easy to take over as well i think there's only like six zombies in here seven zombies in here including the ones that are in there so yeah pretty good maybe you don't want to live in like some rural kind of settlement isolated from everywhere else or maybe you didn't want to live in a morbid graveyard this might be more to you a modern house specifically modern house 10. modern house 10 is again very defensible as you can see there's a wall around the outside and this wall is very sturdy as well so this is made out of concrete and this is also made out of concrete as well so uh, they're not going to break through here again you can just put a wall around the outside i will say this wall is a little short however it is a little bit deceptive this is one block one block and this uh, half slab is also another block or so so it's technically three high um you could build like get rid of it and then put another block on if you really want just for visual sake but it is technically three high so nothing should really get above it uh yeah just put a um, a gate here or something like that and then the house itself again this is made from concrete concrete so again nothing's gonna break through that very that easily um the only thing i will say is that it is weak on this side this is only 100 on this side right so zombies can get through this very very easily so what i suggest is take all this off 
and then put some like flagstone like four blocks down a little bit more defensible and then inside not that many zombies in here uh very easy to clear out there has a kitchen so potentially finding like a cooking pot uh it does have like a bit of an underground section again nothing to worry about there's only like one zombie in here uh you just drop down from the garage so yeah this is uh this is not too bad uh you can convert this garage obviously to a working one so you can just replace this put like an actual working like, garage door in there or something like that obviously you need to cover the floor here uh and then inside as well there is a yes a ladder uh so this ladder allows you to get access to the roof which is right here and if you really want it you can maybe like clear all this off like that and then put all your storage up and then maybe you can just like build it a little bit more vertically it might not look as nice um as it currently does but you know what it's up to your imagination if you just literally just want to live here uh put your work benches down put some storage boxes down it's not too bad i mean they can't get access to it and again it's defensible it has a nice wall and it's in a house it's not a it's not a graveyard and it's not isolated so what more could you want? And finally, my number one POI to live in. And I know it's going to be boring, but it is the prison. I love this POI so much to live in. And this is the reason why. So as you can see, it's got four watchtowers, right? And they're all looking over the wall. So you can get over here and you can look down without having to leave the compound at all. So that's one benefit. Next, the walls are all made out of flagstone and it's double thick, right? So by the time they break one or, you know, you can probably hear them that they're breaking one. You can probably go out here and start pew pewing them before they can do anything else. You can also um, get rid of all these kind of like bars and you can just put your own bar here like that. So instead of having to try and like nudge it out, you can just basically jump out on the rail and start shooting them that way as well. Um, there has a lot of fences this will all personally i i like to knock all these down kind of opens open the space a little bit more and then what you can do is um all this this is basically growing space so you can put farm plots down here or uh you can what you can do is you can reinforce the roof because this roof is actually only wood uh yeah it's only wood um but you can actually put a roof garden here as well but you will need to reinforce it okay so you know if you start placing too much stuff it, it has potential to collapse okay uh inside a uh, decent kind of working space it will take a lot of work all these blocks right here uh, i personally would remove all these kind of gates and bars and all that kind of stuff i would remove and then i would also put um let's see just like blocks down here like this like that just to kind of expand your working space a little bit. You can also potentially as well get rid of this area and get rid of this area and then build like a little smaller like stairway up here just to kind of lower the footprint of the concrete but give you more working space. Uh, over here on this side there is a uh, gun safe. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't have a torch. Hang on. Give me one second. Let me get, let me get a head torch on. There you go, that's better. Right, <laughs> sorry about that. So there is a gun safe in here as well. Uh, so you can crack that open at a later stage. And there's also a gun bag. As well as that, there's a wall safe and there's another wall safe right here, desk safe. So you can crack all these open. But again, uh, I would emphasize that you wait until later loot stage to do that. But pretty decent. And what you can also do is you can knock this one out right here, right? Put garage door here. Take out these stairs if you really wanted to. It is a lot of effort because it is made out of concrete. But this can become basically your garage space. And if you wanted, um, if you go look at uh, on my YouTube channel, I'll put a card in like the top right or something like that, linking to uh, my Pixel Wife series. We lived in a prison and we were very happy with the prison. Completely happy. Um, it was very defensible. We had two cars. We had a garage at the bottom. She had a roof garden. It was just, it was just a lovely POI to live in. The only thing that really gripes me is that this POI is built on even numbers. 
yes you heard me even numbers so as you can see here as an example the gate is six wide so if you wanted to put a door here it would be off center so here's a tip for me is i block that off right and then i just made it like another door here i i put a garage door right here so i just drove in here that way instead so even though it's off one side you could do it on the opposite side as well so it doesn't look um weird and you can basically it's basically like a turning loop right so you can come in one side and then come out this side as well uh there's also a reception here as well uh that you will need to kind of block off and reinforce otherwise it can get in pretty pretty easily so yeah this is probably my number one poi which is the prison and i highly recommend anybody new coming to play the game if you ever find one of these in your playthroughs come live here if you can't be bothered uh like building anything so much space so much potential and it's basically limited to your to your imagination so that's it folks that's my top 10 pois to live in in the zombie apocalypse if so if you're not a builder and you just want to get out there and live in a poi that is fairly defensible then these are my top 10 picks obviously this is not an exhaustive list there's going to be more pois out there in alpha 20 that i may have not discovered yet but if anybody is watching and you've discovered a really decent poi to live in leave a comment below and let everybody know and uh, we'll live it in the future maybe and if i ever come across it in one of my let's plays i might be able to uh, pick it up and convert to it to a living space so if you found this video helpful please make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well and i'll catch you in the next one peace